So a few days ago, I was watching a video over on Peter McKinnon's channel all about Luminar AI, which is a photo editing software by Skylum. Now Luminar AI, as the name suggests, is all about using artificial intelligence to help you edit photos. But the plus side to all this is not only do you have artificial intelligence, but you can also do your normal photo editing things like you could in Lightroom or Capture One or any other sort of photo editing software. Now, prior to seeing this video, I had used Luminar 4, which is also by Skylum. Luminar AI is like a new kind of different software and Luminar 4 didn't quite do it for me. But after seeing this video by Pete, I was like, oh, I got to try it. Luminar AI out. It looks sick. So I did. And seriously, guys, I think this is the best photo editing software out there, bar none. And I think it's definitely time for Lightroom users to consider switching over. And in this video, I'm going to show you specifically for portrait photographers why this software is a massive time saver. And we all know, especially in the creative space, time is money. So this is going to save you time, which means more money. That's all good. So what we're going to do is jump on over into Luminar AI and just have a look at how not only it's similar to Lightroom, but how it just makes certain things that take forever in Lightroom super easy in Luminar AI. So let's jump in now and take a look. All right, so here we have Luminar AI. It's open. As you can see, it's really clean laid out software, not a whole lot going on. At the top here, you have your sort of navigation. So you've got your catalog, which is basically a file browser. So instead of having like a catalog that you would in Lightroom where it's a massive file in Luminar AI, it basically just looks at your, you set it to a folder basically and it finds that folder and adds all the photos for you. So you never have to import photos the moment you create a new folder and put photos in it, it automatically knows it here. So this is a photo shoot I did the other day, yesterday, and all I did was import the photos into where I store them on my computer and it found them nice and quick. But on the 6th, I did this portrait shoot, all right? And you can see I took a lot of photos and I'm not sure what's going on here, ha. but that's anyway. So we took all these photos and you can see here in the catalog. Now you can have medium thumbnails over here. You can change it to small. If you want to have a look at all your photos, go large. If you want to have a look at large thumbnails, it's all pretty good, you know, pretty standard stuff. Every time you click on a photo, you get a little update down the bottom here. Shows you exactly what you shot it on and all your settings, which is awesome. So that's cool. And obviously you have different ones up here. So templates is basically like your presets button. So that's where we can just add, let's just use this photo and you can just, you've just got different looks and you can just click on them and add different looks straight up to the photo. And as you can see, it does a really good job, not super overbearing. And you don't have to do this. You can just add, you don't have to add templates. It's just a thing, but you also have a slider down the bottom here where you can increase how much of the template you are using, which is really good. Cause normally in Lightroom, if you put a preset on the photo, well, that's all it is. It's just a preset and you have to use it. Whereas this one, it works like a lot inside like a video editing suite where you can add it to the photo and then decrease or increase the amount that you want to. And it's a really good way to, I guess, speed edit. So you can go through and just look at different ones and it's going to recommend based off of the scene what you should use. I tend to like the Blockbuster collection one. So you got like a new really grainy black and white one. And then you can see this one's like a really light sort of faded look. You got your teal and orange. Cyberpunk one's really cool. And again, you can just decrease the intensity so that it just drops down. And a lot of the hotkeys that work in Lightroom work in Luminar. So in Lightroom, if you hit the backslash key, I think it's a backslash, one of the slash keys, um, it will do your before and after. And you can see here, it does that in Luminar as well. And you can also get this slider here where you can just go you see how really easy it is to do quick edits. But if you wanna do traditional editing, if you head on over to the edit tab, this is where you have all your tools that you'd be familiar with in Lightroom. So you have your composition. So what's really cool about this is not only can you sort of scale it and do whatever you need to do, but you can click this composition AI button and it's just gonna like recomp the scene based of what's in it. So like we click that, it's gonna do its thing. And you can see now it's cropped it down and it's centered the subject and honestly that's a pretty good crop and I don't really have to do anything more to that. Now obviously you've got all these different tools. We're not going to go through them all. We're mainly looking at portrait photography in this one but you can see you got your light tool where you got your temperature slider and all that sort of stuff. All right and everything works as you would expect right. You can bump your exposure right up, double click to reset it. All very much like Lightroom. What's really cool is when you get these little AI icons next to it and you can click on it. And basically this uses AI to learn the scene and then edit it differently. So with structure, obviously normally you don't want to add a lot of structure to someone's face because it's going to really like accentuate the flaws. 
Um, but what this one's gonna do is, as you can see, it adds a lot of structure around, but not a lot to the face. And if I turn this off, you can see that nothing much happens to the face. A lot of it happens around. And that's because it's using AI to realize that, you know, you're probably not gonna want to add structure to the face. Again, here with AI Enhance, we can enhance the sky and it's gonna know exactly that that's where the sky is and it's brought the highlights down so you can see some of the blue there. And then Accent AI, it's gonna do the same sort of thing. It's going to adjust the scene based off of AI. Super, super easy. And you can see very quickly, we've clicked a few buttons and we've gone from this photo here, which, you know, it's okay, to this photo here, which is much, much better. And apart from the fact that her skin tones are maybe just a little too red, it's not too bad. What's really cool is we could got all these other tabs here. So the creative tab, and we'll look more into this in the landscape photography one, but we can like change the sky and all this sort of stuff. And I'll just do a real quick one here. Let's just do a different blue sky. It's gonna know exactly where to put that sky. Boom. Look how easy that was. Anyway, we're not gonna do that for this one. What we're gonna look at is the portrait one. And you can hear, see here that it's separated out into face, skin, body, and high key. You can just turn on a face light and watch this, it'll just brighten up her face. It takes a little bit. So obviously that's a bit too much. So we're gonna turn it down a little bit. But in Lightroom, what you'd wanna be doing is creating a mask and you'd be doing like a radio filter or something like that on the face, increase the exposure a little bit. Whereas here it's just a slider and I mean, you turn it off, turn it on. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Super easy. Eyes, this is where it gets pretty intense. You can change the color of the eyes. Now I wouldn't want to because my model Ivy, and I'll have her Instagram link below if you wanna check her out, has some great natural eyes. We could change them if we wanted to. So we could change them to cat, which is really weird. So if we zoomed in on the eyes there, let it do its thing. You can see we get these weird like slit eyes, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm probably not gonna go with that. We're just gonna go with original because the original color of our eyes are great. And you can see with the AI stuff, it tends to be a little bit slower on the computer. That's to be expected. It's using a lot of processing power, but we can like do iris visibility. So it's going to basically brighten the iris up a little bit, make it easier to see. We can do dark circle removal. So if you know, the model just sort of slept in or whatever, you can bump that up, remove the dark circles. Now this is obviously going to be a pretty intense sort of thing. We can do things like red eye removal. If you still get red eye, we can whiten up the eye a little bit. That might be a bit too intense, but it's going to know exactly where the eyes are. It's going to whiten it for us. And now you got something that's not, let's not do that. We can do an iris flare. Like there's so much here we can do. You can see just here in the eye there, it's going to add like a little shine to it, which is really nice highlight there. And if we turn this off, although you don't think we've done a lot, it's actually going to change a lot of what we did to that face. You can see that it was quite dark before. Turn that on, it's super, you know, easy to see. We all have all these other things here like skin, we can remove shine. We have a skin defects removal. Now I'm not someone that would do this sort of stuff with portrait editing. I'm generally a more natural sort of photo editor. You know, let's leave the defects in, all that sort of stuff as natural as we can. But some of these things like eye whitening and all this sort of stuff, Teeth whitening, that's a thing like you can, you know, saturate the mouth, saturate the lips, whiten the teeth. Those are things that I would probably do, mainly the teeth whitening, the eye whitening. What's crazy about this is you can actually slim the face. So if we both sat to 100, you watch her face will just get a little bit slimmer. As you can see there, her face gets slimmer. I mean, there's a time and a place, like if that's what you wanna do, that's what you wanna do, right? Like, so that's there. You see that was really easy to create and edit, but how about we get a closer shot so we can get a you know, better understanding of how this is going to work. So we could go to the Ascent Templates tab. So there's something funky going on here and you can see like that was really easy. Like that's the photo we had. Oh wow, there's something crazy going on there, but <laughs> it's kind of fun to play around with. And yeah, like, I don't know, I think like the fact that this is super easy to just edit and do these crazy things that take ages in like Lightroom or probably Photoshop to be honest. That's why I love Luminar AI and also just like the layout and all this. What's cool is as you're editing, we can increase that LUT that we chucked on it at the start to more or less, whatever we wanna do. And you can see it, especially here, look around the eyes and how this LUT applies to it. That is like really focused here. And just see how it's relighting that scene so naturally, like her eyes are going brighter as the scene goes brighter. Like this is crazy. 
Now, if we were to go through, let's find another photo. Let's grab this one, that's pretty cool. We're gonna go and edit this photo. So the first thing we're gonna do is probably, maybe let's try teal and orange. That's kind of cool, kind of dig that. We're going to do an, a composition AI. Let's do, well, how about we, we will edit it for Instagram, which is a four by five. Now you can change it to be like a horizontal four by five or a vertical four by five. So what we're gonna do is that. Let's rotate it a bit because, you know, I wasn't that good at the start at framing this shot. Cool, enter. Awesome, so we've got our shot here. Now what we're gonna do is let's do a sky enhancer just so we can see a bit more of that sky. So what we're gonna do, let's go to the portrait tab now. So what we're gonna do is add a bit of a face light so we can see the face a bit more. Honestly, like, we don't wanna to go too intense because then it starts to look fake, but that looks pretty good there. Iris, we're gonna obviously leave it original. Bump the visibility up so we can try to see as much as we can. I wanna put a bit of a flare in there to make it look like we had some sort of a light going on. Um, I'm not gonna do any of that crazy stuff. Let's whiten the eye a little bit so it's a little bit more noticeable. Eye enhancer, again, that's a really good one just to bump, maybe not all the way up, but like, that looks cool. Little bit of a dark circle removal just because models like the dark circle removal. Nothing more with that. Might uh, do teeth whitening and it's just behind her lips. So you're like, you're not gonna notice her a hell of a lot, but you will notice, you know, it's there a little bit. Maybe a little bit of saturation around the lips, which is maybe something I would do normally. And then pretty much like we're pretty good to go. Maybe a little bit of shine removal. I don't know if that's gonna do much here. Ooh. And like, yeah, like pretty much we're good to go. What I might do now is, is it under dodge and burn? There is a section for, maybe it's under creative. Centrals. Vignette, so we're gonna add a little bit of a vignette. Look, we can even choose the subject. And then AI will be like, hey, that's the subject. And you can see like, as you click, it will choose how to do it, which is crazy. We're just gonna do that and like, Light vignette, pretty cool. What else do we wanna do? Something I do like adding is under the creative one. I like doing the glow and the mystical stuff. And what it does is just adds this sort of cool, like hazy kind of dreamy kind of look around the image. And I'll just do a little, little bit of a glow, nothing too crazy. And then we've got our photo. I might actually just one more thing. We're gonna bring the shadows up just a tad. Just a tad, and then done. And so if we were to have a look at the before and after of this photo, that's the before, pretty good framing, but you know, and then that's the after. And you can see like this mystical look to this photo is unreal and so easy to achieve. And then to export it, you can just right click and you can export it from here or you can go export over here and it'll give you a few different options. You can message it directly to someone, which is really cool. You can mail it to someone. If you use pick 500 picks, you can. Or you can just save to disk. When you do that, it also allows you to just straight up the export. I find the export options in Lightroom can be really intimidating for like first time editors. But if we go here, I'm gonna just navigate quickly to the folder. And let's create a new folder called edits. And then you can sharpen it. You can do medium, high, sharpen. We're just gonna do a medium. No resizing, we're gonna leave it. Color space, and you can change the format and all that sort of stuff. Quality 100, save, done. And it'll export it. Now you can do batch exporting as well, which is really cool. But yeah, like this is crazy how well this photo is just easy to edit. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you can sort of see how Luminar AI is a super powerful, bit of software and honestly I've been using it now for not just portrait but for landscape photography as well and I just love it honestly not just how easy it is to do really hard things that would take forever in Lightroom but also just like the UI and the interface it's nice and clean and easily laid out and you know sometimes you're in the mood to do a really long photo edit and then other times you just want to be like Boop, done and that's what's great about this software is you can do those real one click edit make an average photo look amazing but if you wanna spend the time on an edit, you can. 
So if you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna go check out Illumina AI. And yeah, that's it guys. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.